Me and my friends have to survive the next 24 hours straight in Jurassic World. What the hell is that thing? Come on, Cruz, let's go. What is that? The cheap lights are on and they are on me. Just don't move a muscle. 10 challenges, 4 creators, unscripted roleplay. These are the creators, and welcome to Jurassic World, where we will be spending the next 24 hours. Now as a group of mercenaries, we didn't get a lot of information. All that our mission brief stated was that another team was already sent to this remote island a few days back, contact was lost and it was now our objective to investigate what exactly happened to the so-called Team Bravo. So we've got a bit of a fork in the road here. Do you reckon, Sizen, which way you, th you think is safer? Let's go right. Anyone know anyone from Team Bravo? No. No, I do not. Nope. I know nothing. I'm here to observe. What do you mean observe? We're, we're mercenaries. We're here to kill and save. Speak for yourself. I'm a scientist. Gosh, what Brady Bunch that they end up hiring off for a rescue mission. The boss. So me and the Brady Bunch got ready to investigate this strange location that looked like it's been abandoned for years. What is this place? Abandoned hotels or abandoned structures? There's something here that might have been from Team Bravo. I didn't see anyone at the carousel, I'm on it. And the wise leader that I was decided to get a view from the high ground. But the team didn't see this as tactical and decided we could mess around for a bit. I can already tell this team is so serious about this mission. Well, that is until the commander finally contacted I'm us. I'm getting a call. Great, you arrived. The signal seems very weak. Let's hope it holds out. Try to locate Team Bravo's campsite. Maybe there will be some clues as to what happened to them. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, let's locate that campsite. And with that, we received our first objective and started searching around. Searching high and low. Split up, I think we'll cover more ground that way. Looking for any signs of life. Any kind of trace that Team Bravo might have left behind as clues as to what the hell had happened to them. So these don't seem to have any fuel left. And, I don't know, I get a feeling the third is missing. I found it! What do you mean you found it? I was, I was about <laughs> to say it too. And finally, we had some hope. Go inside. Get oh. Back. So we made our way down to their apparent campsite, but no one was home, and it seems like they had left in a rush, as there was still a ton of weaponry and ammunition left behind. We then got another call. I'm sending you a care package. Set up camp and wait for dawn. It will be too dark soon. We still have no idea what's out there. We then heard the helo flying overhead, dropping our care package, and Sizen thought it would be wise to shoot at it. It's not Fortnite, you can't shoot it down. <laughs> I figured I might be able to pop the balloon, but you know, whatever. <laughs> but after a little bit of patience, the package touched down, we grabbed all of its contents and went to set up camp. What are we at, some sort of museum here? Well, some of us wanted to. <laughs> so glad you guys took that job seriously. We, yeah, we, sh we should be setting up camp, guys, but you, you have fun. We'll, we'll set up the tent so long. So we pitched our tent, dropped down some tripwires, and went fishing. Literally have knives, fool. But these guys weren't very interested. <laughs> I thought I was standing in that fire when you were there. So we cooked some fish. That sounds like a you problem. Got ready to go to bed, but I noticed a small problem. So I don't know how safe it is to place your campfire inside the tent. I don't care. I finally convinced him it was a bad idea, got some shut-eye, but I was quickly interrupted. Yo, Kruger, Kruger, hey. I just heard something out there. What did you hear? I, I don't know, it sounded like a... Uh, just come on. What did you hear? It sounded like a dinosaur. Oh, <laughs> really? So, who was it? Barney? But this man wasn't joking. What the hell? As I heard the strange noise, <laughs> Barney. I knew we couldn't stay here for much longer. Any of you guys been able to reach Naomi? Our comms were down, so we decided to push forward into the jungle. Comfortable enough with going out at nighttime? Yeah. 
Alright, everyone, keep your eyes peeled. We spotted what seemed to be yet another camp from Team Bravo. They had to have been here. Is there anything left behind that we could rummage through? Wait a minute. Okay, so there's only two around this whole thing. I mean, this is a shot in the dark, but they are pointing at that big tree over there. Maybe that kind of makes sense that they wanted to light up the area that they were going towards. So we summoned up the courage and decided to push forward into the pitch dark jungle ahead. You guys ever seen a scary movie? The guy in the back always lives. Oh, wait, wait, guys, stop, 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 stop. Do you see that movement on the right? Whatever it is, it's big. Do you see their beady little eyes? Alright, let's stick to the left a little bit. I'm turning my light off. Screw that. Actually, that might be a smart idea. I'd like to see what's coming to eat me. And after hearing that, Chaotic's plan was definitely a little bit smarter. Oh, I see a light up front. Especially since we heard something strange behind us. Um, I just saw something behind you. And then we saw it. Behind who? Oh, <laughs> so something's behind us. Something's chasing us. Run, run, run! run. Is run. everyone okay? Oh no. Oh no. Get to the tower! What is... What the hell is this thing? Oh. What is that? We had no idea what it was. He can't come up the like stairs, can he? What the hell was yes. that? But we were definitely not waiting around to find out. Guys, want to head up? Get some high ground? Oh, I'm definitely not going back. Yeah, I'm not going back through that. Just be careful. We don't know what's in front of us. It is really dark. But darkness was no longer our only concern as a massive thunderstorm broke out. Okay, wait. Hear me out. These mushrooms look quite tasty. Could be poisonous. Listen to the plantologist or zoologist or whatever she is. Look up there. Look up there. Do you see? It looks like something like there's, there's lights from before, but they're off. The rain cleared, so we climbed up the side of the mountain to investigate. An admin code here. And we managed to turn on the radio tower. Oh, wow. oh let there be freaking light. Wait, I'm Does getting... Does this mean we have, like, communication I'm back or something? literally getting a call right now. Excellent. You guys managed to boost the signal, but the power levels seem low. Locate the island's power station. I'm sending you coordinates now. But we were already a bit tired. I'm gonna go to bed. I'll catch you guys in the morning. I'm gonna stand watch. So I let the team get a few hours rest, and by the next morning, we <laughs> leaped off the cliff and made our way back to our subs. There he is. He finally shows up. And to the water. We then navigated to the coordinates that Captain Naomi sent us, and by the morning, nearly ran out of fuel, so docked by a nearby Everyone beach. Everyone here, we're we missing a soldier. So we saw some structures and went searching for fuel. Oh, watch out! There's one of the uh, some of the little oh, ones the? on you. <laughs> Sorry. But I saw more dinosaurs, and now we knew we needed to know what the hell was going on. Um, you mind explaining why you didn't tell us anything about the dinosaurs? Wait, dinosaurs? There was nothing in my brief about that. I've only heard the rumors of these genetic tests. Yeah, well, these definitely aren't extinct. Well, while you're there, why don't you document some of the species? It will be great for our research team. And for my curiosity as well. So I handed out the team some cameras from my trusty backpack and we got ready to go take some pictures. I'll take a camera though, because I gotta take a picture when I see one of you guys get eaten. Well, Chaotic definitely had some devious plans. Tell me it still Jeep. runs. But we were ready to stick to the mission brief. Is this one of these electrical things? We hopped in our little jeep and started exploring and spotted some dino enclosures with some actual dinosaurs still inside. Oh, ah! oh god, we're under attack! Run attack! And Sizen got violated. <laughs> <laughs> they, they just spit at you? I can't yeah. see anything. I can't see anything. <laughs> Help me. Help me. That's poisonous, Help so me. wipe it off your face. <laughs> so I cautiously grabbed my picture and decided to push forward. Let's go a little bit more forward to the Jeep guy. <laughs> it was truly impressive to see all these creatures that we thought were extinct. Let's try and document them. This time we were actually able to go inside the enclosure. Okay, let's go into oh. the cage with the very aggressive spiky things. So our cameras went to work. Oh, wow, this is gonna make... This is going... I'm, I'm gonna be on the National Geographic channel with this shot. I truly got some amazing pictures and I can't wait to collect my reward. Alright, is everyone good to go back to the Jeep? 
Good. But we had to push forward since we were losing daylight fast and we still had some cages to cover. Whoa, what the hell is that thing? Why would oh. they leave these gates unlocked? Oh, look at Oh, hell no! <laughs> you know, sometimes exploring Ow. with Sizen is like having a kid in a candy store. You can't trust him anyway. Since they started upsetting the dinos, we knew we had to make a run for it, and it was also getting dark. Come on, Krugs, let's go. It's raining out. I don't like it. It looks like there's still some power up ahead. Strange. I thought everything would have been out by now. Um, do you guys want to investigate this building to our left? What did you find? What did you find? Oh, dang. After finding some more heavy artillery, we got back in the jeep and proceeded on the track. But then, for some reason, we lost power. What's going on here? Uh oh, sit tight, guys. It seems all remaining power of the track is depleted. I'll try to convert some juice from nearby sources. Um, that take the fences off. I think she took power from the wrong location. What the hell is that? This is not the time. Power's back. Get the Get hell out of there. No, 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 no. Luckily, it seemed like the Rex was distracted, but he quickly set eyes on us again. There's a gate, there's a gate, there's a gate. Oh. Here, I got it. The Rex was right on our tail. He's gaining, he's gaining. We broke through just in the nick of time. Ah. There you go, there you go. Finally, had some juice for the Jeep. Putting shots into it, but I'm not gonna be able to kill this thing. I was milking the hell out of this Jeep. He's gaining. But he was just simply catching up to us way too quickly. Oh my god! <laughs> what the hell? Oh, did we just lose someone? And somehow someone fell out. Care. I'm coming! And Chaotic ran after. We just lost Chaotic. We needed to make a distraction. So they could get away from the wreck safely, but we had a dead end. Get in, get in, get in, get in, get in! Drive it in, drive it in! Get the lights off, get the lights off. The lights off. Oh, my torch light just went on. Get the hell out of here. Go, Follow go, me. go, Follow go. Me. I think it's a boat. This? this is a boat. This is a boat. Get it. Oh, Our team was separated. They left us. They left us. Holy shit, they left us. That was way too damn close. Are, wait, are we just gonna leave them there? We now just had to hope and pray that Chaotic and Sapphire would survive their side of things. I don't know what we need to do at this point, but if I'm correct, I think I see the power station in front of us. Let's get the power back on, get the fences back on, we'll go back for them. So be sure to check out both their perspectives after this to see how they end up surviving. Unfortunately, we're stuck between a Rex and a Velociraptor pen. But me and Sizen had to push forward. We had a mission at hand, and it was time to restore power back to the island. So we made our way inside the power station and went searching around, and finally found the control panel, and I was able to do my task of connecting all the wires to repower the power station. Oh, I think that did it. Oh yeah, we've got power. Excellent. My systems are fully online. Let me triangulate Team Bravo's last location. Hold on. Searching. This is strange. Their chopper shows to still be on the island. It's not far from where you are. Finally, we knew where they were. And as we were making our way out, we saw turning back the power station oh, light, 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 light. got us some unwanted attention. Gosh, we gotta go through that. <sighs> now we had yet another obstacle standing in our way of making it to their location. Oh, they're coming, coming, they're coming. Get go, inside, go, go, go. get inside. So we quickly took cover oh, door. and saw something was tracking us. What the 
These weren't ordinary raptors. They were indoraptors. I hit one of them. He's bleeding, so I, I think that's why they're running. Good shot, good shot. The problem was the sun was rising, and we would pretty much be sitting ducks. We knew we had to make a run. I don't think it sees us. So we ran from bush to rock, take cover, take cover. hiding whenever they were close. And once the opportunity presented itself, we would bolt to some of the nearby bunkers and towers. Oh, one's behind you, one's behind you. Oh, oh gosh. Get up the stairs, get up the stairs. Did you see where they went? Yeah, I see one of them. I just shot him, he's behind this rock. I'm okay. scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. Get in the bush, get in the bush. We were being hunted down. Open up. Do you see anything? Yeah, he's right oh. next to us. I nearly ended our lives with keeping a door open for too better long. close that door. Ooh, that was just in time. I think the guy's just clear. Yeah, they're running. All right. But finally, they seemed a bit distracted and we could push forward some more. All right, just don't move a muscle. Just stay quiet. Oh, I see you, I see you. Sizen got a little bit cornered, so I went in to help him, nearly running into a Ooh. raptor myself. That was close. Take cover, take cover, take cover. Just don't move for a second. Or okay. shoot rockets. But remember <laughs> what I said. This guy is like a child in a candy store sometimes. So since he revealed his location, we had no other choice but to open fire. Watch out, there's one on the rocks near us. Open fire. We continued to make a run for it and finally saw another enclosure. I think I see something up here. Are they still on us? So, nope, they're coming. So we decided to make a final standoff and take these raptors out. But for some reason, they weren't interested. Are they, are they, are they stopping? Wait, do, you, do you hear that? Oh, what the hell is that? Oh. Get down, get down, hide, 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 hide. Oh my God. We were cornered. No options left. We didn't even know what the hell this was. Sison, don't move, buddy. I don't know how we're going to get out of this one. Come on, Seth, let's go. But then we heard them. Wait, did you hear Familiar that? voices. The Otic, is it you guys? Finally, we were reunited. What the hell is that? And they ended up providing a distraction. It's distracting it. Make a run for Just it. what we needed. What the hell do they have with them? To make a quick run for it. We went to a nearby structure and kept the door open for them. But after seeing what they ran in with, I second-guessed myself. Happy to see you guys. What, what the hell is this? Yeah. Tamed a raptor? Well, we tamed two of them, but we must have lost one. I'm definitely excited to see exactly how they did that. Oh, well, after you guys took off, we ended up uh, having an adventure of our own. Keep your eyes peeled, guys. But for now, we decided to push through the cave. Oh. I see movement up ahead. There's some spiders. And of course, we had to fight through some more nests. Down. Oh, I got web. Oh, they're shooting webs. Oh. But luckily, these things were no match for our heavy artillery. I think we've got it. Oh, right, more right spiders, there. more spiders. I think we're clear. Finally, we made it out, caught our breaths, and I brought the whole team up to speed about Team Bravo's location as we made our way over there. Must be some old abandoned mine. Do you guys see that? We then spotted their chopper burnt out, wedged between the rock cliffs. Guys, is anyone up there? No sign of survivors, so we continued searching, following the tracks of the mine, and then we found something. Oh man, that's a lot of blood. Oh wait, nobody could survive that. Hey buddy, are you actually alive? ACU. You guys made it. We were ambushed. It would seem it was a group of poachers. <coughs> they want to take them back to the mainland and auction them off as weapons. We can't have any of them make it off this island. And if you guys make it past those horned beasts, by the way. What horned beasts? No! There they are! Run! Oh, uh, what the hell is that? Get back, get back, get, get back, it. guys. Get away from me. Tell me, enough firepower for this. tell me these things are working. Get out of here now. The last survivor of Team Bravo sacrificed himself just to buy us the time to make it out of the mine. Oh, they're Should going they back. They're going back. Let's get the hell out of here before they change And luckily, mind. these things didn't like daylight. We can't let their deaths be in vain. Track down the poachers and release those dinosaurs. Don't gotta tell me twice. So we tracked down their camp and gathered some intel. Guys, 
You see all these diners they've got? But dang, they have the wrecks. And we knew we needed to do something about this. Are we gonna go in there and free all of them up? I mean, small chance of success. High chance of death. Sounds like fun to me. So we got our bolt cutters ready and made our way closer. Waiting for the perfect opportunity to strike. Let's go in, guys. Finally, they were distracted. And we started opening up some cages. Someone's out the cages. Take them down. That's all of them. That's all of them. Oh shit. Being shot at. But we were made. Luckily, the dinos got some revenge. Get the hell out of here, guys. A rendezvous whoa, on the beach. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And we were able to dive in the water, make our way to a nearby beach location, and finally our objective was done. And we could now get the hell off this island. Well done, guys. I am sending over a chopper to extract you. Try to get to the extraction location ASAP. This was great. We were even two hours ahead of schedule. Finally, we could escape. But other things were in store. As we heard gunshots opening up on our, our helicopter. We needed to go over and investigate. And then we saw Stick the up. poachers. But something else what was approaching. What is that thing? God. And you then it broke through the trees. You are a gigantosaurus, ah! the biggest thing I've ever seen. Take cover, take cover. We knew we were in serious trouble. We had no idea where chaotic and size and were. Oh, it's coming, it's coming. Take cover. We needed to take this thing down. We started opening fire from all angles, keeping it distracted from one to another. Finally, chaotic and Sizen showed up as well and joined the fight. Oh, I I got a call at an inappropriate time. The extraction halo is there. What are you guys doing? It can't stay too long. Get there ASAP. But clearly this was important and I knew we now had a race against time. We couldn't lead this thing back to the chopper. We needed to take it down, but it was just simply too powerful. Tommy, you can't fit through that. Oh no, it can fit, it can fit. Our guns were worthless against this thing and we did not have the bullets to take it down. But we were running out of time. The chopper wasn't gonna wait forever, and we knew we need to give it everything we had left. One final stand. Oh, it's coming, it's coming. I'm nearly out of bullets, I don't know about you guys, I can't keep this up. I'm on my longer. left. So we came up with a plan. We would kite it to a nearby location. Why do they always have to make these things bigger? A blocked off room where we can truly stand and give it everything that we had left. We finally lured it back to the location where we wanted. Now we just had to hope it couldn't break through here. Oh, I hope it can't fit through here. We were out of options. Oh, out. out of ammo and out of hope. But then we heard it. Now the Rex is the here. Roar of the almighty Rex. Guys, let's make a run for it now. This gave us the opportunity to finally make our escape. Did you guys all make it out? Yeah. We heard the chopper overhead and navigated up the tower, climbing the flights of stairs, not realizing what had just happened. The Rex that we had saved had come to save us taking up the final stand against the Gigantosaurus. It was an immense battle. By the early AMs, the Rex claimed victory. As we were making our way back home, we want to say a special thanks to the true king of the Jurassic World, the T-Rex. A huge thank you if you watched up until this point and if you want to be part of these in the future, join the Discord. I do these all the time and I would love to have you be a part 
build something or come and act with us. See you again next time.